Speaking of the Chandrayaan mission, a centralized screening of the historic Chandrayaan 3 landing is being planned in the national capital. We are getting to know that MOS Department of Space, Dr. Jitendra Singh, along with the scientific uh, secretaries, will be viewing the soft landing of Vikram lander. The government sources are also telling us that the Prime Minister is likely to join this screening virtually. Remember, the Prime Minister is in Johannesburg, South Africa for the BRICS summit. My colleague Shrishti Chaudhary is also joining us live from Bengaluru. Shrishti, what more are you hearing about this special screening that is being, uh, that is being planned for tomorrow? Uh, yes, a special screening would be uh, conducted and uh, uh, Indians across the country would be able to view it once the live telecast begins at about 5.20pm in the evening. Uh, uh, it's important to tell our viewers that the actual part descent would start at about 5.45 p.m. It's going to be like a 15 to 16 minutes exercise. And if all goes well, India would be on the moon by 6.4 p.m. And this part descent phase is the most crucial phase of Chandrayaan 3, which is when the uh, lander would be gradually brought down towards the lunar surface. It's going to move horizontally and then it's going to move vertically. Then it's going to find a, a perfect space for landing and eventually land. Just give me a sense, Shrishti, of the buzz uh, in Bengaluru. Uh, you're one of the very few individuals who, of course, will be able to interact with uh, members of the team. Uh, but uh, how would you describe the mood as far as the team is concerned? Nervous, anxiety or uh, excitement? Uh, definitely a lot of excitement. Uh, so Chandrayaan is riding on the hopes and dreams of billions of Indians. We are returning to the moon uh, after almost four years. Uh, remember the, on 2019, uh, late in the night when we were counting on ISRO to complete the mission, then an uh, error creeped in at the last moment and within the last few minutes, uh, the lander crash landed. So this time there's a lot of excitement, a lot of confidence actually stemming from uh, ISRO's concerted efforts over the last four years. ISRO Chairman Mr. S. Somnath has uh, consistently emphasized that ISRO is very confident about achieving success uh, in this uh, mission this time. And uh, the lander, the, uh, the propulsion module and the rover have all been improved uh, compared to the last mission in 2019. So in a few years from now, the ISRO is uh, gearing up for the uh, final phase of the mission. And But it's important to tell our viewers that uh, ISRO scientists would again conduct a meeting uh, two hours before the planned touchdown. They're going to monitor the health of the spacecraft. And if all the parameters are as expected, then only they'll give the command for the uh, power descent. Uh, the entire process is going to be entirely automated. So scientists will have to give a green signal for the process to begin at about 5.45pm uh, in the evening. Alright, Shrishti, thanks a lot for joining us.